Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest McCall's pattern release with you. So very excited about that. Everything I mentioned today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. If you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our other social accounts. We're in all the usual places, Instagram, Facebook, you name it we're there so do jump on and check out those links below and I've picked out my favourite McCall's patterns from the new release I've paired them with gorgeous dressmaking fabrics I'm super excited about some of these designs they'll all be linked below as I mentioned so you'll find links to the fabrics the patterns below but we will do a slideshow at the end of the video with the other designs as well so do stay tuned for that just in case I've missed something that you really love and I'll also just share what I'm wearing today as well um, it's a simplicity pattern just a classic t-shirt dress I think it's 8982 don't quote me on that I will have to double check that but I'll pop a link below for you because it is a current pattern I've made it loads of times I've used uh, the bodice and added a tiered skirt to make a dress um, you can also make like a long sleeve top you can make like a um, turtle neck or roll neck top with this pattern as well and it's just a cotton jersey that it's it, I've sewn it up in this is still available on the site and it's available in a few other colors as well but it's just a great casual everyday t-shirt dress for the summer nice to finally be wearing some of these summer dresses as well let's hope that this lasts and summer has finally arrived in the UK um, but yeah, let's get started with the patterns then. So lots and lots of goodies here for you to choose from. The first one is McCall's 8256. So it's a level one learn to sew pattern. So it's nice and easy. It's got a gathered neckline, which is finished with a binding by the looks of it. Um, it does say binding. I know it does say, yeah, it's a single fold bias tape. Um, so there is binding in here so you'll learn the techniques of binding and gathering um, and then it's either there's like a loose fitting t-shirt type top with a puff sleeve which looks like it's gathered into elastic just above the elbow there's an option for a flutter sleeve um, there's an option for a sleeveless version that's just got the binding um, around the neck as this sort of strap and then it's also got a long sleeve version with el an elastic casing and the fabric gathered into that elastic casing so like a little balloon sleeve at the end there um, it runs in sizes extra small to extra extra large so a 29 and a half to 30 and a half bust 22 to 23 waist and 31 and a half to 32 and a half hip and the XXL is a 46 to 48 bust 39 to 41 and a half waist and a 48 to 50 hip so a nice simple easy sew something that um, a beginner it wouldn't be too challenging but you'd get definitely a few techniques under your belt a more experienced sew is something that you could just whip up in a few hours if you just desperately needed a new top um, and this fabrics it suggests are lawns, cotton blends, poplins and stable knits. Now I thought that would look rather nice in this really pretty chambray fabric that we've got. So it's an indigo blue and then it's got this beautiful little floral print in white on it. Um, super, super pretty. I think it would look lovely sewn up into one of those tops and then you could just pair it with um, your favourite jeans or shorts or trousers and I think that would look great. You can't beat just a nice classic bit of chambray fabric. Nice and easy to sew with for any beginners as well. The next pattern I want to share is McCall's 8259. So this is a lovely skirt pattern. It's a wrap skirt, again, with options. So we've got a mini wrap skirt, um, one that looks like it's um, more knee length, which is the hems finished with the flounce. And I've made a simplicity pattern with that design detail before. And I absolutely love that skirt. I wore it out on Saturday night. Actually, we went out for dinner. Um, with the kids and I wore it to the restaurant and I just always feel really nice in it. Um, there's also an option for a curved hem 
and a longer length version as well. This one runs in sizes extra small to extra extra large again it's the same as the last pattern and this again is a woven pattern so it can be sewn up in crepes, lawns, cotton blends, lightweight sateens. So the fabric I chose is this gorgeous McElroy cotton fabric. I think it might be a lawn, I'm not sure, it might be a poplin, but if you check on the um, link below, all the description will be there on the product page. Um, but it's this beautiful poppy print against this very neutral gray background, quite sort of muted colors really, but a very striking, beautiful print. And I think that skirt, any of the versions would look super, super pretty sewn up in this fabric. It's, it's a lovely weight this fabric is as well it's um definitely sort of more of a medium weight but it's still got the drape and movement that you need for a skirt like that um but yeah it just feels absolutely gorgeous quality that does so i think that would sew up really really nicely and then very excited to those of you who know me well know i've got a bit of an obsession with the 70s um, era and 70s fashions and McCall's have revived a couple of the vintage 70s patterns in this release which is super exciting and I think I might just have to make one of them it's not this one it's the next one but I'll show you that in a minute um, so the one I'm going to show you now is McCall's 8258 which comes in sizes 6 to 24 so a 6 is a 30 and a half bust 23 waist 32 and a half hip and the 24 is a 46 bust 39 waist and 48 hip um, and yeah just oh wow just so 70s so there's three different views three different views two dresses and a top so view a is a super duper maxi dress proper full-on 70s maxi dress um, it looks like it would be it's got um, a square neckline, again, very on trend with the option to do the sort of a square border um, on the neckline. And then it's got gathered fabric round the bust, which is always quite flattering there for anybody who, um, you know, perhaps wants to enhance the bust area a little bit. I certainly need a lot of help in that area. So gathers and pleats and things around there are good for me. Um, and then it's got a waistband or cummerbund at the front, which ties into a bow at the back. And then the, I think that would be relatively empire line. And then the skirt, the sort of flared um, maxi skirt comes out from under there. And then it's got a beautiful flutter sleeve, just absolute 100% 70s glamour. So, so beautiful. View B is the top version of that, so it's exactly the same apart from instead of coming all the way down into a maxi skirt, you've just got a little um, flared sort of piece of fabric that looks like it would hit probably at the high hip. Um, and then there's a really super cute little sundress as well, which has got that same square neckline, the same gathered panel of fabric across the bust, the same cummerbund waistband that ties into a bow at the back, and then it's got a sort of a loose fitting flared skirt that finishes at the knee. Um, so yeah, super, super pretty, lots of gathers, lots of opportunity to have fun and really customize it and personalize it and make it your own. View A, for anyone who ever watched The Good Life, just screams Margot from The Good Life. She was a, a very glamorous 70s uh, character in a sitcom in the UK in the 70s that I used to absolutely love. Um, yeah, and I could just see her in that maxi dress version. Um, the version I chose though was view C which is the sundress and I just thought that would look so lovely if you're going to go full on 70s retro I thought it would look lovely in this high twist Riccardi viscose fabric that we've got which has got definite definite retro vibes um, I really like these high twist Riccardi viscose fabrics because they are weightier and more substantial than some of like the Moroccan crepe type viscose fabrics, which can be quite 
um, lightweight. They, they've still got all the drape and movement, these high twist Riccardi ones, but they're definitely just a bit more substantial, which I really like for dresses and things. So it's the same base cloth, I think, or very similar to the one that I used for my cutout um, back dress, which I shared last week, I think it was. Um, and that was just beautiful for, to work with, sewed it really well and was lovely for a dress. So yeah, that's why I chose this fabric. But I also think the little top would look really cute in this as well, paired with jeans. I think it would look lovely. Um, I think the top and the jeans, flared jeans, would be more Barbara from The Good Life for anyone who, who was into that show. Um, but as I mentioned, links to all of this are below. So do check out the links. Now the next one is McCall's 8257 and my heart literally stopped a beat when I saw this and I've just got to work out whether I would wear it um, because it again is full on 70s glamour, absolutely love it. Um, but the, the design I really like has got some midriff on display and I'm just not 100% sure how I feel about that. But haven't, it's been a long time, a long time since I've had my midriff on display in clothing. I still wear a bikini on the beach. Um, but yeah, I haven't, haven't shown, shown that area of my body off in clothing for a long, long time. However, it is a high-waisted um, skirt. So the midriff that you're showing really is sort of above um, above the waist. So it's just like where your ribs are basically. So it doesn't feel so exposing, but the top is quite sort of, um, looks quite low cut as well. So I've got, I've got to work this one out because I really, really want to make it, want to wear it, but I just don't know if it's going to be practical for me. But anyway, let me tell you about the sizes before I get started. So extra small, it runs in an extra small to an XXL. So the bust is 29 and a half to 30 and a half, 22 to 23, 31 and a half to 32 and a half for an extra small. And then for an extra large, extra, extra large, sorry, it's a 46 to 48 bust, 39 to 41 and a half waist and a 48 to 50 hip. Um, so the options in this pattern are, I think the reason why they've been able to do the whole extra small to extra, extra large rather than set sizes is because it's an elasticated waistband, I think. Yeah, let me just check. Yeah, wide elastics, so they're asking for it. Yeah, the elastics for the waistband. So um, there's a maxi skirt with an elasticated waist, which as I said, looks like it's, it hits on the high waist. Um, and then there's some loose fitting trousers, really wide leg trousers that also are high waisted and elasticated. And then you've got the tops um, to pair with them. So the view I really love um, is the skirt with the um, top C, which is, it's got a V-neck and then it's a tie top and then it comes in sort of across like that under the bust as well. And then it's got these big um, flared sleeves. I just, it's so pretty and I just love it with that skirt. I just, the whole look is just dreamy for me. And I was thinking, well, the skirt, I definitely would wear loads. I could just wear that with a crop T-shirt. Um, you know, I, I would happily, a vest top, a cami top, whatever. I'd wear that skirt all day long to work out wherever. Um, it's just the whole crop top thing. I'm just not 100% sure. I've got some high-waisted denim flares that I'd probably pair it with. And I've got some lovely, like super 70s, chunky tan leather sandals that I'd wear with that. Um, but yeah, I've just got to get my head around whether, whether I would wear it. Um, and then there's also like almost like a baby doll top option as well. So it's got um, it's got it's a square a square neckline again, and then it's got the option for um, a bit of a trim across there, like a border trim, a lace or something along those lines, and then a matching one across the bottom. And it's very baby doll. It's just loose, just drops. I think it's got gathers. Yeah, there's gathers underneath that sort of piece that goes across the neckline. Um, and then it's got these sort of like oblong or square panel pieces that come over the shoulder, which are super duper 70s. Um, and yeah, just some really pretty options on the packet actually with that. Um, looks like a nice sheer fabric that they've suggested for one of the designs for those sleeves, which I think would look really pretty. And they've paired it with the 
Um, I can't tell if they're the trousers or the skirt on that one actually it's the skirt it's the maxi skirt so yeah anyway super 70s vibes very Farrah Fawcett um, really love 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 that whole crop top like maxi skirt what uh, version and the fabric I chose to make any of those with really um, but I was, I was thinking that matching um, two-piece set of the crop top and the skirt is this linen viscose mix fabric which is a Lady McElroy um, poppy print again lots of poppies this year super super pretty beautiful fabric really lovely weight really lovely drape and movement and I just think that matching two-piece set would look phenomenal in this so yeah that would be my pick for that one the next pattern is McCall's 8255 this runs in sizes 8 to 32 so an 8 is a 31 and a half bust, 24 waist and 33 and a half hip. And the 32 is a 54 bust, 49 waist, 56 hip. Um, again, some nice options on this one. So you've got a lovely scoop neckline, princess seams at the front and the back. I think it's fastened, yeah, it's fastened with a zip. Um, and then you've got some really pretty options on this one. You've got like quite a plain, simple top um, that's just got a straight hem and just simple straight sleeves. You've then got a top that's got a lovely scalloped hem. Um, and I bought a jacket recently that had a scalloped edge to the patch pockets and a scalloped edge to the cuff. And I really love that. It's just a nice little unusual feature. I think that looks really pretty on the hem of this top. And then there's like a little puff sleeve which finishes in a band. Um, so it looks like it's gathered into a little narrow band. There's also an option for a sleeveless version. So just a very fitted, um, sleeveless version with that lovely scalloped hem and then there's a version which is just plain and simple straight hem but got a long sleeve which gathers into elastic at the hem um, so yeah just a lovely fitted pattern nice blouse that I think styled really well on the packet done in a nice floral print with a pair of simple jeans something that you probably would wear a lot I know I would and the fabric I chose for this one, it's a, a one from Woven Fabrics again, so like ginghams, linens, sateens, cotton blends, that sort of thing. I think they do suggest lining it actually. I don't think they've given you a facing for finishing the neckline. So yeah, they do suggest lining it, but if you wanted to, you could create a facing or you could perhaps use a binding to finish the neckline or you could just line it not line the sleeves that's what I would do um, you know lining isn't that difficult all you've got to do is just make the bodice again in the lining fabric and join it at the neckline it'd be really simple and all the instructions would be in there for how to do that as well um, and the fabric I chose is this lovely Lady McElroy um, cotton prints it's just very simple and fresh I love this lovely green color it's just got this very simple little white spot on it I made a tailored shirt a couple of years ago in the white colorway of this with a black spot um, and I've worn it loads and loads I really like it I think that would look great in that and then finally we've got McCall's 8253 which runs in sizes 8 to 32 so the eight is a 31 and a half bust, 24 waist, 33 and a half hip. And the 32 is a 54 bust, 49 waist and 56 hip. So this is going with the whole cutout trend again. So again, we've got a little section cut out, which is above the high waist by the looks of it. So just that little rib cage area. Um, there's a version, it's meant to be an easy sew as well. It's for stretch knits, um, jerseys, interlock. It's got to be something with 50% stretch. So a good amount of stretch. Um, so like probably like your viscose, jerseys and things like that would be great for this um, so there's an option which is sleeveless and has got gathering um, from there's like a little tie at the front so it gathers around the bust and then also underneath on the skirt it's gathered around that center front seam and it's a short straight skirt um, it's got, yeah it's like ruched rather than gathered sorry it's ruching which you can you can um, pull the drawstring to create the ruching or redistribute the ruching on the bodice um, I don't think you can on the skirt bit um, but that's view A view B is a longer length um, dress so that's the one on the front of the packet it's got like um, a dipped hem 
and it's got the ruching around the tummy area and then the ruching around the bust tied with a drawstring and the little cutout, long sleeves. But the version I really like the look of is View C um, and this has got the functional drawstring at the bust there. So, you know, it's going to create that ruching around the bust. It's got a little bit of cutout. It doesn't look like a lot because actually the skirt on View C comes straight across, whereas the other two cut down. View C comes straight across, so it's going to be very little on display um, at the cutout with this one because it looks like quite a nice high waist, um, and that would definitely be my preference with the V neck. And then it's got a, a short sleeve, and the hem looks like it probably would be like a midi length to me, it looks like a relatively long, just straight across hem. Um, and I think that would look really lovely sewn up actually. I think the cutout trend can feel a little bit scary or a little bit sort of revealing, you know, if you're not used to what to wearing that sort of thing. Um, but I think it can look really demure. I think it can be done really well. And I think View C would be a good example of that. And the fabric I chose for that one is this um, jersey fabric in this gorgeous print. So it's a nice weight, but it's got the stretch that you need for a design like that. And it's got this navy blue background and then these really pretty pastel pinks and purples and things on it. So, yeah, I think that would work really well. So that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Do remember that I've linked everything I mentioned below, the patterns, the fabrics, our website. It's all below so you find everything you need there. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.